Hi, I'm Margaret Gormley, Chief Park Superintendent with the Office of Public Works. Today we're going to look at herbs and salad leaves, things that you can grow at home in your window box or on your patio or if you have a little small garden uh, to look at. So one of the first things that I find that people love is basil. You know, we love our pestos, salad leaves, uh, mixing basil in through it. So this here is some basil that we've been growing. We actually, uh, it's very important, you know, you put your little label on. We grew this, sowed the seeds on the 17th of April. Now basil loves heat. So we grew these on the windowsill. They're in a compostable pot, which is very, very handy when they do germinate, that you're actually able to plant them straight into the pot, that you're not tipping them out and to try and get them a, a in perfectly without damaging them. So pot and all, because they're compostable, just straight into your pot and then just firm it up around and we will just get the soil in around this peat free compost and a good little watering. Uh, it's very important. We have two different sizes of watering cans. You know, for seedlings like this that are, you know, have only germinated in the last couple of weeks, we don't want the water pressure to be too strong on them. We use this little baby watering can. Just give it a little water. And these will go back on the windowsill again because they're still nice, uh, still delicate enough. They will benefit from being on a windowsill inside and they'll grow away perfectly happy. And here's ones that we have been growing on for the last two months. And you can see plenty of leaves on the basil. These are ready for harvesting, uh, you know, to make the pestos into the salad leaves. So very, very easy to do. That's if you want to plant in an individual little pot. These are still at an early stage. If you want to, you know, you have your plants more established. Here's something that we would do uh, for a window box. Everyone loves parsley, you can, you know, full of iron. Uh, and I like to put in some a perennial plant as well into the window boxes. This is lavender, you know, and lavender gives a little bit of colour to the herb box. We can use the flowers uh, as decoration in leaves or in salads uh, or, you know, even cake decorations, you can actually put them on. The leaves then, you know, you can cut them at the end of the season, cut it back hard, you can dry them and use them for pot purees, etc. So again, just very carefully tip it upside down. You can tap it on the edge of the table and just plant it good and firm into the window box. Now, some people will say we're planting very close here, but the reality is we're going to be harvesting and cropping all the time. So the plants are not going to get to big, big plants. Uh, here's some dill, uh, again, you know, to be used in the kitchen and it gives you know a little bit of a design feature into your herb box as well you know you have the real feathery leaf you have the you know the parsley curly leaf you have the lanceolate leaf of the lavender so even when you know there's interest in the box in the herb box and then obviously you know you can use them for culinary use as well so again planted nice and deep up to the level of the soil that was in the pot firm it in around it'll stand up and again you know you can water a again you know depending on what this plant we could use the larger watering can if we wanted but just this is convenient here now and again you can see here you know you can use any size of pot for your herbs this here's a large saucer and you know with the basil we have coriander here you know and with any of these herbs you know you're cropping them so you know you can just prune away this is coriander we'll use you know in the salad or a we're making if we're making a curry for dinner beautiful a chopped up a garnish on top you know the nasturtium leaves again you know for salads we've mentioned the basil you know we have pak choy here you know we have all the different herbs a you know you can grow mint very prolific we would say keep mint on its own or in one little area because it will spread everywhere but with these salads you know like even with the pak choy we often just take off a leaf off the pak choy and let it continue to grow so with all of these it's very very important you know that you keep them fresh you give them a good watering. We don't spray for any pests or diseases. You know, we'll pick off our snails at night or slugs. Uh, and I'm very, I'm very positive towards companion planting. We will look at what we're planting. So say onions, salad leaves, you know, mix in a few onions through where you're planting. The sulfuric acid that's given off the onion will actually act as a deterrent for green fly and insects. Say for example, marigolds 
is, you know, there is a strong aroma of marigolds and they will attract uh, hoverflies. And then if you have hoverflies near your salad box, they'll actually eat a lot of the green fly that you may get if you have planted close together or just with warm weather. So it's very, very important we look to natural uh, plantings as much as possible. We don't spray any of the crops that you see here. We have strawberries, uh, chives, all the different herbs and salad leaves, and we don't require any spraying at all. So here we have a window box that we've customised to uh, have it really as all salad leaves, you know, what, quick cropping produce. And this really came about as uh, with the pandemic, you know, people were all starting to grow your own. And we decided we'd use the window boxes as an opportunity to, to grow all these vegetables, to be sustainable, but also to let the public see them. We've over, you know, 4 million people a year uh, come through St Stephen's Green and they can look and see the progress of uh, how we're getting on with our uh, window box. So we've tons of strawberries here, you can see Cambridge favourite, you know, like another couple of weeks, these will be lovely and juicy, ready for harvesting. We have our lettuce, you know, little gem here. We plant quite close together in the window box because we want to get as much crops out as possible. So this lettuce will probably be used at the weekend and this will leave a little bit more space for our tomato plants. And you can see here, we've actually two different varieties. We've tumbler here, which will actually cascade down and it's like, it'd be good for a hanging basket and it's lovely little small juicy tomatoes. And this uh, variety here, Shirley, is a very, very good cropper. And with the tomatoes, it's very important that you, you know, that you take out the centre leaf. You can see little tiny leaves here. You rub those out at a very early stage and that allows the plant to grow, to develop on a single stem. And you can see the flowers here starting and they will be our tomato crops later in the summer. We have a little different salad leaves coming up. We've even some onions here growing and this is one I actually just pulled out earlier and it's a beautiful onion uh, and this is going to be our first onion of the season so we're looking forward to trying this you know here in the centre of Dublin we're doing our little bit as well and uh, you can see here in the chives you know the chives the amount of bees and uh, hover flies that you will see on these hugely important from a biodiversity point of view and again you can use these on the salads as well you know and they're a lovely bit of colour in the window box you know you do want to make sure it looks interesting you know different leaf shapes a uh, you know the lanceolate leaf you know the robust leaf you know the a uh, variegated a uh, you know it's all all act are comes together in a lovely you know natural composition that doesn't look too forced but yet gives interest and there's interest here you know from april right through to the you know november in the window boxes and then we look at what we put in uh, in the winter something to give it a little bit of interest as well when the strawberries uh, are harvested we'll actually cut down the leaves of the strawberries and that will allow a lot more produce to be actually planted into the boxes to keep the sequence going as i said with our lettuce you know we sow lettuce every three weeks approximately so that we always have a crop ready to be planted up into the window boxes as we harvest and you know we do we do have the occasional plants that we plant a uh, sow here uh, for extra interest you know like say the little viola here the little viola flower is edible and you know if you're having a party you can actually freeze these in ice cube holders and if you're making your gin and tonic use the ice cubes with your little viola flowers and as it melts they'll float to the surface of your drink so you know we are we were looking at a you know I suppose it's an activity to do, it's very important for health and well-being, but it's also for recreation as well. And even if you have, you finish your day with a little drink, you can have your little viola flower there as well. 